Please welcome your host, Dion Taylor. Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. So today I want to talk about two new features that are in preview today as part of 2024 Release Wave 2. They're called Smart Paste and Smart Search, and they're both developed for model-driven app. Now, this means that these features will also work in the Dynamics 365 apps. So I'm talking about Dynamics 365 sales, customer service, etc. Let me show you how they work and how you can enable them. So let's start with Smart Paste. And you might have actually already seen some of this functionality online, or if you were attending the Power Platform Community Conference, Ryan Cunningham actually showed this amazing feature. So what this is allowing us to do is to copy certain data from a document or an email or right from wherever, and then we can just use the paste shortcut to paste the related data inside of a record in a model-driven app, right? So we're looking here at the Sales Hub, which is also a model-driven app. And I have an email here that was sent from Anna to Teresa Testing. And she's just saying, I hope you're doing well. We're just interested in some products. But you also see here that in the email is her first name, last name. We also see her title, phone number, and then the company information. Uh, of the company that she works for. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the entire email here. And then I'm gonna go back here to the sales hub and I'm gonna add a record by clicking here on this new button. Now this is going to load my lead main form. And you also notice that here is my smart paste button, which is doing the same thing as if I would be hitting the control V button, right? So this is really that paste that it's doing. So I can click on this button or I can click on control V from uh, within my keyboard, right? So let's just hit this button. It's going to ask me, do you want to allow this? I'm going to say allow. And what it's doing now, as you can see, it's analyzing the data on the clipboard. And then it's also analyzing the lead form and the different columns, right? So what then happens, as you can see, is it's now entering the data from that document, right, that I copied over and then pasted. It's actually trying to add it here in the form in the right column. So you can see here, first name, last name, job title, the company information, the website, and the address as well. So this is pretty amazing, right? So what I can do from here is I can go to each individual column here and say, yeah, this is correct. And then I can even, if I needed to update that, I can do that as well, right? Or I can say, let's just accept all of the suggestions and then I will accept all of them, as you can see over here. Now, your next question might be, okay, well, this is a main form. How does this work? with quick rate forms. All right, let's just go ahead and move away from this. I'm not going to save this. And let's now click here on the quick create form. And we're going to again do lead. Now here, this in this quick rate form, you notice we don't have any buttons here, right? But what I can do is now using my keyboard, I can hit control V. And then again, it's going to analyze the clipboard data. It's going to analyze my form and write the different columns on my form. And again, it's going to do the same thing, right? It's going to enter the data here in my form. You can see here, I don't have the address of that company in this particular form. Hence, it's not being entered here, right? And then again, I can go ahead and accept the suggestions one by one, right? Clicking on those check marks, or I can click accept all suggestions directly from within that top button over there. Now, there are some things that you have to keep in mind. So currently, the fields that are supported for Smart Paste are text field, choice fields, date fields, and number fields as well. So any other fields are currently not supported. That might be because this is still in preview today. The other thing that I want to mention is that if you have any fields on a form that have field security enabled, those are also not going to be supported for Copilot to enter data in. And then there's also a whole list of languages that are actually supported for Smart Paste. Those are uh, 
Arabic, Chinese, Czech, Danish, Dutch, English, uh, U.S. English is what it says on the Microsoft Learn site, Finnish, French, German, Greek, Hebrew, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Norwegian, Polish, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish, Swedish, Thai, and Turkish. I would definitely check out the Learn site, right? Because that might be updated every now and then. All right, so that was a smart paste functionality. Let me now show you again, we're gonna discard this. Let me now show you the next feature. And this feature is called smart search or smart grid, whatever you want to call it. But basically what it's gonna allow you to do is to filter and sort data by just using natural language. So for example, uh, you can be on a view, right? Maybe you're going to be on an account view and then you can type in accounts where the open revenue is greater than zero. So what it's going to do then, it's going to automatically add those filters to that view and even, right, you can even also uh, set it to, to set the right order for those records as well. Now, let me go ahead and, and show you how this works. So I have a bunch of leads here. You can see when I click inside here, I already get a whole bunch of suggestions here, right? So that kind of also shows you like how to, to kind of put those, put that data, those, those phrases in there, right? So let me go ahead and, and first enter in here. We want leads where the state province is California and you can see here I only have one in this particular list so I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and let's see what it does it should now filter out and it did right just that one lead and then you can also see over here what the filter is that Copilot added so that was the state province begins with California the other thing you notice right is that it's actually now generating this view here, right? So what I can do from here is I can save this as a new view. If you don't do that, and if you then refresh the page, let's go ahead and do that real quick. You will notice that that view that was just created by Copilot is then not saved, right? It's now no longer in that list. All right, let's go ahead and try. I'm not sure why my Copilot search is now gone, but let me refresh this page again. And here we go. All right, so now let's try a different search. I'm gonna say leads where the email contains data, right? So that's when we're looking at the email address. And let me actually do this again. I'm first going to go to my personal view here of open leads because I have some more columns in here. Here's my email column. So let's try this again. Leads where email contains data, right? So let's try that and let's see what it does. Now, this is very strange, right? Because we're saying where email contains data. Normally, if I would manually filter this, I would say filter by email, right? Contains data. So this could be a little funky. This is why I wanted to show you this, right? Because now it says uh, it does not begin with, right? It, it has nothing to do with I just what I just entered in here. So I'm probably going to say I do not like this because this is not what I was asking for. Okay, so now let's try this again. And I, now I'm going to word this a little bit different. I'm going to say leads where the email has data, right? That email column over here has actually data in it. So let's go ahead and search for that. And that actually seemed to work when I was testing this earlier. Here we go, right? Until now we can see all of the leads where the email address actually has data in it. And you can see here as well that it now says email contains data. So you really have to play around with this uh, a little bit. Um, it's kind of what I noticed um, when I actually earlier hit the, I don't like this and then tried it again, it was working for me. So again, you really have to kind of play around with this uh, a little bit as well. 
Now let's go ahead and, and sh I'll, I'm going to show you where you can enable both of these features. You'll have to navigate to Power Platform Admin Center, and then you will have to click and navigate to Environments. So from here, you can open the environment that you want to enable this for, or you can just check this little box over here, and then you can click here on Settings. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller over here to decide. Then I'm going to expand this product area, and I'm going to click here on Features. Now, let me actually scroll down. So the first thing that I wanted to mention here is in order to enable SmartPace, you have to make sure that this AI form fill assistance is actually enabled for all users immediately. If you don't have that enabled, then it's not going to work. You're not gonna be able to use SmartPace. So make sure you set that to all users immediately, and then you can enable SmartPace. Then if you scroll down a little further, you will notice here the natural language grid and view search. So enable to turn this on, you're going to set this feature to all users immediately. And then of course you want to scroll all the way down and make sure that you save your settings. After you've done that, you've enabled this feature and now you can start playing around with this. So what do you guys think? Pretty cool, right? I love the Smart Pace feature because this is really gonna help us create records from information that's in documents a lot faster. And also the Smart Search I think is incredible because now you can just start entering the type of information that you're looking for and Copilot will take care of the rest. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching, until next time.